Hello everyone, welcome back. Oops, I turned off the sound for a little bit there. Sorry about that. We're continuing our war with uh, the UK and Russia. We're currently fighting a whole bunch of Russian ships in an unending... We lost a lot of industri a lot of military power, it seems, because we lost a few capital ships, I think. Uh, we definitely lost our... A lot of the, uh, whatchamacallit, a lot of the ironclads we had. And it's about damn time we lost those damn ships. I was getting tired of them. We have a lot of dreadnoughts over here, though. Uh, they're mostly damaged. Uh, steamer convoys, artillery, and fuel. We're getting enough of those. I should maybe try to stockpile some, uh, steamer convoys, maybe. Just keep them with us, just in case. They're very expensive, but... If I can fucking find them, Jesus Christ, where are they, steamer convoys? They're not consumer goods. Am I blind? Oh, there they are, steamer convoys. How much do we need? Need 33 for government. Store around like 100. Feng Tian Cleek goes bankrupt. We're also fighting all these uh, Indian regiments over here in Borodino. They've retaken Moscow. These dirty Russians, but we'll retake it, no problem. There's some Russians attacking us. Um, the Austrians are backing us out over here. Uh, the Russians are coming back from the Eastern Front. They are no longer at war with Japan. However, they are at war against Beiyang, China. Hmm. I don't think they're going to fare too well on that. Yeah, that's definitely bad that the that the uh, the Japanese put off their pressure. We are winning, however. They, of course, would not accept the dismantling of the United Kingdom because they are winning. Rather, they it seems like they would be winning. Hunan goes bankrupt. Impossible. You should go Spain. Impossible. Bulgaria? Unlikely. Romania? Impossible. We could form an alliance with the US of A. They will not accept. I would like to have an extra ally because for Germany is like showing as impossible. They will not come to our aid. Yeah, impossible. Does it show why? No, not really. Uh, I'm not so sure. Hmm. Since an invasion is of England is seeming rather unlikely now, I can use these troops to go there or not. Maybe these guys. Maybe these guys over here that are on charge of protecting us against France. We have a truce with them for a very long time. They have a fascist dictatorship. Now, and I just noticed they lost their claim on Corsica. They no longer have a core here, which is amazing. Yes, uh, these guys should definitely be over there. I have plenty of troops over here taking care of this. I don't know where these Russians are thinking of going, though. Too bad that Armenia is not going to give us any access. Neither is Iraq, because they are, well, they're a puppet of the Russians. 34 capital ships and better technology. We should be fine. Uh, what's this? Five capital ships against four capital ships. No commander. Dreadnoughts, dreadnoughts, and dreadnoughts. Are they ahead of us in naval tech? They might. 23. 21. Yeah, they're a little bit ahead of us. A little bit. A little bit ahead. We have all these tanks. Oh, this is, these are all guards. Very nice. Oh, wow. We annihilated those guys. These are all conscripts. Attack plus two. Oh, those are the guys with the attack plus two. No, that's a lot of guys. I'm not going to do that. 
go through here instead. They're taking back some territory because they bring out their like gorillions of conscripts. That's just what the Russians do. They bring around a billion conscripts. Austria's coming out to help us a little bit. Thought I would never say that. The Austrians are actually helping us. We should get the hell out of here. These ships are damaged. Battle of Brodino. 168,000 Russians dead. Brodino. Where's Brodino? Right now. Let me show. Uh, where's Brodino? Oh, this one right here. Wow, I expect there to be more deaths after this. You guys definitely go to Moscow. Gulf of Tobruk lost one capital ship. That's fine. 10th of April. They're taking back some land, but that's fine. As long as we hold on to Moscow. Should be fine. We inflict a lot of damage on their troops just by virtue of having superior technology. I don't know if the, I don't know if they have any tanks either. Considering how easily we're annihilating them. Oh, they they retreated. All right, let's merge these. Twenty-two transports. Not nearly enough. Battle of Cape Bon. What? I need to get these ships out of here. Moscow. Oh, they're attacking us in Moscow again, these filthy Brits. Despite the fact they lost like 160,000 men. Yeah, these ships are really damaged. These ironclads, I'm surprised these ironclads are still alive. I should just get rid of them. Treaty of Tokyo. Oh, they've been dismantled. That's bad for them. Zero percent. Ninety-nine percent. Zero percent and zero percent. So the Russians have taken a, quite a beating. They would accept white peace with us. Which means that we can focus on attacking the British. Focusing on the British will certainly allow us not to distract ourselves with these billions of conscripts we're gonna have to annihilate over here. That will certainly be a relief.
Let's just take their capital again. Might as well just go home. No sense. We are transporting these troops home, hopefully. We are getting more dreadnoughts ready. Plenty of battleships and dreadnoughts getting ready. We should also queue more... Uh, we're gonna queue some African transports. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more transports here. Goes until what? Fume. Five more. We're going to white peace with the Russians. We're going to go home. We're going to recoup, and we're going to attack the British. We're going to focus completely on attacking the British. We already have maximum war score with... Uh, as concerns our... Uh, oh, these guys are selected. I don't want you to get selected. We already have maximum war score as relates to combat, so that's perfect. We don't have to worry about any of the bullshit for the rush case. We might want to consider stationing some troops over here in Germany. Just so we can cut oh, we're under attack. Alright. Thanks, Russia. Hopefully you will collapse. You have 99% more exhaustion and you were at war against Beiyang, China. They're very powerless, but uh, we'll see what happens. More dreadnoughts. Very good, very good, very good. We all now have all dreadnoughts and battleships. We have some shitty commerce raiders. Eh, might as well get rid of them too. They're useless. They provide nothing to us. Um, right. We're getting our troops back. Let's wait until that happens. Seven two four. We are still producing more. We have two tanks left to produce. Okay, we are producing tanks. Fine, actually. France is mobilizing. What? War of Swiss subjugation? <laughs> That's gonna peace out immediately because the the uh, the Swiss are, are neutral. We have more transports coming along, our troops are coming back. White piece, yeah, because they're they're neutral. Figures. Let's take all of y'all. Okay, this is just this few scattered the transports we recruited. Can we, can we fit you in here? Um, pa -pa 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 okay. And we're gonna see if you fit in. 
No, only partially. Between one ships. Oh, alright. The remaining total weight of two will not be loaded. We need two extra ships. Alright, uh, get over there. No, filthy Brits. Attack plus two. That's good. Might as well try to attack them. Might as well. Uh, what are you? Transports? Transports and transports. Yeah, go right over here. All right, we are doing very well there. Just looks like it. Watch me get everything wiped out. All right. Perfect. Let's try this again. <laughs> yeah, not expect or not not unexpected. Oh yeah, they got stuck at the border here because they they were. Um, uh, and these troops are gonna stay here in reserves after the first wave hit. After the first wave lands, uh, they'll be fine. You got stuck here in Hungary as well, my friend. You need to go the fuck home. Austria's landlocked, so <laughs> they can't do shit. Can't do shit. Stay away on those two tank, two tanks, Marseille and Toulon armor. Hello there, goodbye. Dublin. Uh, mm, num, num, num. Yeah, I like to land here because that means it'll blockade uh, further reinforcements. Let's land everyone in Dublin, and then stop right over here in uh, what's this, Oldenburg? Yes. We're going to stop in Oldenburg and pick up more troops. But, oh. Oh, I had a feeling that shit would happen. This is bullshit. Oh, everything, the attack goes so well. We have numerical superiority and they still survive. I hate this. This is absolute ass. Watch these guys die as well. Yep. Man, fuck defense in this game. Right, they're gonna take the bait. We're gonna go... Uh, mm. Take all the steam transports and... and a few battleships. And we're gonna go pick it up. I don't want them to go unescorted. That would be a terrible idea. Oh, good, we're actually gonna win. Good! I'm so glad we didn't lose that. That would have been bullshit. We had superior numbers and everything, and on good to good terrain. Ugh. I don't understand this game's combat for some reason, sometimes. This time, I'm prepared, Brits. Give me your worse. How are our troops reassembled here? Are they fine? Yep, go to Grenoble, my friend. Anything else? Any other troops that are lost? Or in places that they are not supposed to be? No, this is just Romania. This is Sweden. We are allied to Sweden. Can't call them, though.
more transports. Anything else? We have a lot of troops. Plenty of troops here. Yeah, why not? Take this shit. We're already going to dismantle them. So God knows how many troops we're going to be. We're how many uh, colonies we're going to be getting from them. All right, reinforcements have arrived. And the f and the germ the German the. And the British colonial regiments in Africa have been destroyed. Yes, like the hundred thousand over here, and the other forty. There are the thirty thousand here. They are taking heavy, heavy losses in Dublin. Too bad I can't defend Indonesia. We still have zero percent more exhaustion. The Brits have still zero percent. We're going to change that. We are going to invade the mainland, hopefully. These guys might be good for extra reinforcements. You know what? I'm gonna go and grab these guys and... Uh, should I try to lead a... I think it's... Hmm, I don't know if it's premature to land an invasion of the mainland. Because we can go towards Glasgow and defend here. Or land in Plymouth, since those are grassland hills. Or Holyhead. Those would all be good landing places because they have plenty of defensible terrain. Dublin is kind of bad because there's no disadvantage. Glasgow, or we can just lure them to attack us in Belfast. Hmm. Plymouth is a good landing site. It's close to the capital and it's grassland hills. We could do that. But currently we're going to go over here and pick up our troops that are sitting in the Levant. gonna sit there and reinforce there are more troops over here where are they uh, you guys were heading heading on up it'll take you a while to get there where's my transports Dumyat. They are losing a lot of troops, and they have no cannons. Their, their attack is very limited. South Africa is remaining neutral, despite the fact that they are a puppet. Troops are valiantly mar marching through the deserts and everything. The Brits are losing. These damn Brits are occupying all of Indonesia, unfortunately. It's all this unemployment. We are making money hand over fist. Now we've lost Madan, too bad. Still have a general.
Wow, we have a lot of... We have an explosion in population. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have an explosion in population. My god. Alright, Roland Domiat, we're ready to board. Alright, we have more transport ships that we can use. Ha! <laughs> nice going, Britain! I don't know what the fuck you were expecting to accomplish with this foolish maneuver, but, uh... Good job. You're just gonna lose like 30,000 men. Just dead. How many ships do you have? 57. We still have 110, and we're building more. <laughs> ah, beautiful. There we go. We are going to land in Plymouth. Fuck it. It's nice defensible terrain. And we have more than enough troops. We can ferry them across the channel. them across the Irish Sea over here, the Saint George Channel, and uh, yeah, have more troops going there, which would be perfect. Italian Senegal, Timbuktu. Oh, it's this. They're unemployed because they're all occupied. We should consider taking that territory back then, even though I didn't know that this this shit was going to be a state. What the hell, man? I don't want states in Africa. I don't want all these people soiling my my literacy and everything else. Getting my... getting everything dirty. Jesus. Are you ready for a great landing, lads? You better be. Bam. Bath. I thought it was Bants for a while there. I was like, wait a second, there's no city named Bant. Or Bants. In Britain, this is stupid. This is insane. Alright, they're taking all that crap. That's it, Brit Cooks. Come and get it. Oh, what the fuck, man. You cheeky cunts. What are these troops? Probably a bunch of Irish infantrymen. Or some equally stupid bullshit. to Nice and pick up more troops. We need more troops to head over there. Uh, all of our colonial troops are gone. Are, in, are, in the, are fighting except for this one. They are retaking Senegal. Because that is a state that will drag my war score, I mean my, my war exhaustion up. And I don't want that shit. I don't want that up going up. Fuck that shit. Might as well. What are my uh, other focuses like? 
Provence is fine, Palestine, Lebanon, craftsman here, craftsman, Toscana, everything else is fine. Filthy Brits out of here. We're number one now in military. Thank fuck. 213,000 conscripts. My fuck. This is a, this is a pretty intense war here. Pretty intense, not gonna lie. We are still managing to construct all these units. See, this is why I like stockpiling stuff and building up a lot of uh, factories that make canned goods and stuff like that. Glory to the youth of our nation. Three years away from uh, victory, or from the end of the game, rather. This battle's been raging on, it's about to be over. Yep, I know. Zero percent. The Brits are still at zero percent, god damn. We can't make any progress with raising their war exhaustion up until the time that we annihilate their armies and occupy their land. Yep, more food for the food for the slaughter. It's almost over. Battle of Dublin. 411,000 Irishmen died. Only point thirty nine war exhaustion. I call bullshit. When, half a, when almost half a million of my countrymen die, I say that's a pretty big issue. But apparently not to the British. They will still not accept. 0% war exhaustion. Well, time to occupy Ireland. That'll make them change their minds, hopefully. That's right. Keep putting, keep giving more Brits to to feed to the death to the meat grinder over here in Plymouth. And before this battle lasts like three goddamn years, and I'm never able to finish the game, never finish this battle. I'd be disappointed. Dublin has finally been taken. You troops are gonna. No, you're actually gonna stay here in Dublin so that the so that they uh, uh, end up regaining or some organization and all that sweet stuff. Italian citizens attacked in Turkey. It's unfortunate. Isn't it kind of funny that Ireland will be the first place to fall in all this shit, despite the fact that the British, I guess, couldn't care less about it, apparently? Killing half a million, another half a million Irishmen. Oh my god. Yeah, that did, a, I think that did probably good things to them. Look at the percentage of British over here. Good god. I feel bad for the Irish.
You guys have plenty of troops. You can afford to take a trip down to Plymouth. My god. Oh my god, this battle. Oh jeez. This is gross. Into out of one meat grinder, out of the other. How fast has been taken? These guys are gonna be in charge of uh, taking stuff. Yep. I broke out a weird ass accent over there. The breaking stuff. I don't know what what that what, what that shit was about. More lads. More. Four thousand. Oh, there's more! Oh my god! <laughs> Is that all of them? Did I lure all of them in? Oh, I think I might have. No, wait here in Belfast. Oh, here comes more. <laughs> here comes more tanks and shit. <laughs> oh god, this is... Oh, oh, this is gold. Oh, this is just amazing. What's happening to our... Oh, they're just a... Uh, blockade more of their shit and I don't know if there are any more troops over here uh, when they move out of Glasgow we'll probably try to get out of there give me a admiral an admiral ad admirable admiral Oh, look at that. Who look what the cat dragged in. What's your war exhaustion now, Britain? 10%. Now we're talking. Thirty. They have almost. They're almost on par with us on terms of uh, ships. We're the same tech, though. Britannia rules the waves, eh? Let's see about that. Rule Britannia. God. Oh, these fucking Brits are still at it. Damn it, I thought it was over. I thought I didn't have to worry about this. Apparently I do. is under occupation. This is more exciting than any great war. Bastards, they're taking back Senegal. We have 0% war exhaustion, they now have 27%. Not so hot now, are we? Oh my fucking god, they always have more. We just open up another goddamn beachhead. Why is there always more? Always more... More dirty Anglos crawling out of the... Ah, oh, God. There's always more Anglos just... Dragging themselves out. 
from their fucking factories and just deciding that they let's just kill all the Italians. Why don't you just let me rule you in peace? Oh, yes, they're taking that. We should be able to get more troops, though. Hmm, which would be good. Are we still recruiting more men, or are we done for recruitment? We are done, it seems like it. 625. Yeah, that's good for now. We should pick them up off of Rome. Take all the cruisers, take all the transports. All the transports, not all of them. Go over here so you can have yourself a, an admiral. Admir, admiral, not an admirable. Well, maybe, maybe he's an admirable man, but, uh, you know. Who knows? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, one more. Sichuan clique goes bankrupt. What else? What else is the word? Oh, uh, of course, China's on fucking fire. Qinghai, oh my. Nationalist China formed, and Beiyang, China, and, wow, well, Qinghai took a lot of shit then. Of course, Japan was dismantled, so they're a secondary power. Ooh. Who is the great power? What? What? Mexico is number seven in industry? What the ever-loving shit is going on? Oh, I am so confused. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Jesus, that is weird. I've never seen Mexico become a great power. Oh, wow, that is just, that is just too strange for me. I can't handle this. This is just fucking bizarre. Become the reform the Italian colonial army. Lose ten thousand. All right. Oh my god, I can't believe this world. What is... Uh, what's happening? Sweden and fucking Mexico are great powers. Blood and Roses. Let us not overextend. We're in it to win. Lose two war exhaustion. We're in it to win. We don't have any war exhaustion. Number two in great in power now. Feed me more soldiers. Oh my god, this battle is... <laughs> These two battles are raging here. Oh, they have more! Oh my god! Where are these people coming from? Why do they have so many people? Your population is like, what, 95 million? But the majority of them are in India. What the fuck? What's going on? Why are there so many of them? Why are there so many? Ah! Oh, thank you. I was waiting for you to do that. I 
Not yet. Ah, we might as well. Let's wait until we annihilate the British Navy. Or what's left of it. Eighteen shit. Wow, they they gave us a damned beating. I don't appreciate that. This battle is going to be over at least. It seems like it, unless they come up with another like five gorillion Britishmen to sling shit at us. Three hundred and eighty-seven thousand British people died in Holyhead for what? Nothing. For fucking nothing. Are you ready to give up now? Well, guess what? I'm not ready to concede de to concede your defeat either. I'm ready to just occupy your goddamn nation. You've given me so much trouble for this. You decided to join against with Russia, and you're going to pay for it. How many regiments do you still have? Five hundred and seventy-six. I'm not stopping until you are all dead. Goodbye, Brits. Nice knowing ya. Good thing you're winning the Colonial Theater. Bristol and Cotno are taken. Ah, good thing the British are winning the Colonial Theater. I am sure glad that they could get that winning for them. What is our war exhaustion? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking assholes. We are going to take ah, London. We're going to be the only nation in this entire goddamn campaign where we're able to take London. And I'm damned proud of it. Off to London we go. Southampton, goodbye. Let's just block the way in, in case they re they uh, sh they actually try to retreat. These guys are gonna need to stay here and uh, recoup. Taking some evil pleasure in this. This is gonna be another long episode, but London has fallen. Hello there, British Navy. What's left of it? Let's bring those guys in to finish them off. Goodbye, Brighton. Oh, you cunts. Boy, aren't you glad you were winning the Colonial War? <laughs> uh, Canterbury has fallen. Just shove everyone in there.
Come on, I want this battle to be over. Then I'll finish it. Speed 5. We're 51 minutes, my god. I want to finish this. I really want to, I really do. I want to see how this is going to end. Ugh. But it looks like I'm going to have to end this here. So we're able to see the death of the British Empire in the next episode, I guess, and the finishing of the series. Thank you for watching, as always. Have a great one, guys. Sorry for the cliffhanger. See you all.